Uh, yeah, welcome and welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast, Wednesday night, live. Yeah, it started off with a soft clap. Yeah, 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 I had, to, I, had to, I had to hit the slider on the mixer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that uh, that the slider was down low, but um, what's going on, everybody? I uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate you uh, checking with us on this Wednesday night. Um, well, this is our normal Wednesday night show, but uh, I think we got some pretty good topics lined up for you guys today, and uh, I'm sure we're going to get into some debate, but uh, what else is new here on the Format Podcast? It's all good. I got my guys dude. with me, of course. I got the Transformer. What's good, Transformer? What's good, my boy? Maintaining, maintaining. And of course, I got my main man, G. G, what's good? What's going on, fam? Hey, holding it down, holding it down. So, um, yeah, we got uh, we got some good topics. Uh, y'all want to wait a couple minutes? See if we get a see if we get a couple more people in the chat before we start uh, going. Yeah, man, get these folks ready. Get these folks awake. <laughs> All right, tune in. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. It's the it's pick 'em time. It is pick 'em time. That's it right. Pick 'em time. It is pick 'em time. Man, I, I tell you what, um, these are some good topics tonight, man. I, I think um, I think we're going to uh, definitely have some good discussion on these, man. This um, psst, your man Aaron Rodgers, man. Oh no, oh, I'm no. have to dial back my temperament on that one. <laughs> that, that, yeah, man, man, that's, that's, uh, yeah, I'll get to it, man. That's that's just definitely crazy. definitely yeah. Stephen that's A. Smith crazy. out here with the BS, really disturbing. Really speaking disturbing. facts. He's not speaking no facts, man. Speaking facts. He's not speaking facts, and we'll, we'll get to it. I could See, be objective I, of LeBron James, but I could respect I can too. at the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to grease the skids to get my kid in this mug. Goddamn Skippy, man. <laughs> All right. Salute, we'll, Steve. We'll, yes, sir. We'll definitely, definitely talk about that. I'm looking forward to that topic. <laughs> and then, of course, is Lamar Jackson already top five all time? Whoa. Yeah, we, we know who's warn uh, everybody before we even get started on that conversation. Like, this is G's segment. That's going to be G's segment alone. I'm just mm -hmm. going to let that man cook. <laughs> uh, no, it's if actually a good to topic. And it's, and be like, hey, man, G, am I alive? Can I chime in? Hey, it's it's, it's actually up? worth it's ahead, actually man. worth the discussion because uh, Lamar is a, he's one of the most special players we've ever seen. It's actually worth the discussion. So, yeah, looking forward to having that one too. Sid Bubba, what's cracking? I said his boys is in the building. We in the house. There it is. There it is. We in the house. There it is. Um. All right. I guess we we'll go ahead and uh we'll we'll get it um uh, we'll get it going. Uh. All right. Um. So NCAA as we mentioned, we got proves elimination of the national letter of intent. So, yeah, but, man. Yeah, I I thought that was very interesting. They just got um, rid of the national letter. I saw that. I saw that. Let's hang on one second and we'll get right to that. But before we get started, y'all, you know what time it is. You know what you got to do. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up if you're enjoying the content make sure you give us that like that five star review and drop a comment all that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm helps us find more sports fans helps more sports fans find us and finally make sure you write it down put it in your phone set an alarm do whatever you got to do to remember saturday nights at 7 p.m we are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in talk to us get at me i love it i can't oh we're gonna leave it here we go. yeah 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 so this is this is my main man, my brother, my battle buddy, G, uh, Baltimore, my dummy right here. <laughs> yeah, dummy. But, um, yes, th this this topic came courtesy of him, right? Because, um, you know, we've been arguing back and forth about uh, um, Lamar Jackson. And while I am a Ravens fan, right, I try to be a bit more objective about it, even though fan is short for fanatic. I try to be more objective about it. Um, but G is like, he born, died in the wool, you know, purple from birth, right? And so I respect all that. And so, you know, we get into some arguments and discussions. Y'all have seen it, but uh, G, well, you know what? Why don't you take it from here, man? I'm going I'm to let G take it from here. All right. So so this this topic came about because, man, this guy right here, Bruce Holt, I've been known for a <laughs> long time, is also a Ravens fan as well. Yes. And 
we we gave out top fives, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you remember that, right? We gave out top fives. Yeah, yeah. I think I we're supposed to do it again before we start talking about this, so that we can have mm-hmm. a better understanding of why we I believe that this guy's top top five mm-hmm. and the data pools that I'm pulling from, right? Because that's the other part. It says, is he already a top five? And, and I think we looked at some of um some some quarterbacks who are in a lot of players top five, right? The mm-hmm. from you know the John Elways to the Joe Montana's, mm-hmm. Steve Youngs, and, and such. And um, if you look at them, their first seven years in the league, and you look at Lamar's first seven years in the league, mm-hmm. it's, it, it, in some cases they wouldn't you wouldn't even put them in that top five. It wasn't until mm-hmm. later on in their career, right? Because we don't we cannot say, hey, look, your numbers you played fifteen seasons, right? Mm-hmm. And we're gonna calculate what you did in fifteen seasons to Lamar seven, which is it's mm-hmm. unfair. So we got to use uh, a, a, a fair data set to, um, to, to actually um, uh, 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 assess this, right? And so um, my top five, I guess I got to give. We, we got to go around and give our top five. Mm-hmm. But I definitely have Lamar in my top five. And when I said that, everybody looked like, oh, my gosh, what are you talking about? But if you do the math, right, uh-huh. if you do the math and you, you go back and look at data, if you look at data, we study stats all the time here. Um, the stats don't lie. I mean, it just doesn't lie. Like, if mm-hmm. you look at Joe, what Joe Montana did in his first seven years, he mm-hmm. didn't come to full and wish until later on. If you look at Steve Young, it's the same thing. The the only other, the only John Elway, I look at John Elway's stats and he constantly put up big numbers, but he also had a lot of picks. A lot mm-hmm. of picks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, almost like one for one in mm-hmm. some seasons and or more, more interceptions than touchdowns. Mm-hmm. And so, just, just from a stat wise, right, when I look at a, a who I have in my top five, I look at, mm-hmm. I like watching football. So the playlist has to be there, right? When it comes to, is this game entertaining or not, right? We saw Lamar come in. He's not the first, he's a pass. He's not the first two-way uh, quarterback. Cam Newton was one, Randall Cunningham. Uh, uh, Mike the list goes on and on. Yes, Mike Vick, definitely Mike Vick. Um, the list goes on and on, but they don't have uh, – there is data to support that this guy, you know, this two way uh, Ravens about to get okay. If it, there is data to support the the two way um, quarterback, but for much of the NFL history, the spotlight has never been on the the quarterback the way it's, it's been on uh, Lamar Jackson right now. And so that in itself, I think, brings some light into this conversation. Um, and I'm gonna stop there and get you guys thoughts, and then I'm gonna answer some questions, and we are gonna keep it moving. I love how you prepared this, man. I love Definitely that. prepared the hell out of it. <laughs> I got you. I'm in here. I'm in. I'm in here in the cuff, man. I'm in the trenches. You know. I, 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 I like friendly fire. It. Except you, you're forgetting one big thing. You're forgetting one big thing. The rules changes have greatly, have great. The rules changes and style of play have greatly affected the statistical um, production of quarterbacks. First of all, back then. They weren't protecting quarterbacks like that, so the the pass rush could kill them, and there was there wasn't all this rush in the passer. Second, there was no such thing as mm. defensive receivers, so coming across the middle, you could get crushed, right? And also down the field, there was a lot of hand fighting. They didn't call all these um, defensive pass interference or defensive holding downfield, right? They weren't calling all that. So these things affect how guys are able to, from the quarterback position, able to put up these monstrous numbers that we see today. And then, of course, back then, it was a running league, not nearly as much of a passing league. And so most of these teams passed a lot more. Um, Savior, uh, Dan Marino, and uh, Dan Marino, John Elway, and uh, what's my man's name? Joe Montana. They they still threw a lot for their time. Definitely Dan Marino. He was putting up numbers like today back then. But the point is, it was a lot harder to put up these crazy passing numbers back then, like you see guys putting up today. Um so you want to start um transformer with your your five? My five. Um, if I can remember them correctly, mm-hmm. I believe I had Brady. Okay. I had Aaron Rodgers. Uh-huh. I mean, not in no particular order. Not in no particular yeah, yeah, yeah. order. I got yeah, you. I got um, you. I'm just trying to remember who I had. Uh Brady, Rodgers, mm-hmm. Mahomes, mm-hmm. Peyton. Mm-hmm. And I want to say the other one was Montana. Mm-hmm. I think that was That's my fair. five. Yeah, I got Brady, Elway, uh, Brady number one, the rest are however you want to put them, but Brady, yeah. Elway, Peyton Manning, Joe Montana, 
Pat Mahomes and Brett Favre are like right here for me, but I guess the difference would be Pat Mahomes is he's got two more chips, but um, what's his name? Brett Favre has one more MVP, so I don't know, but I guess the championships are the differentiator. But um, so it would be Brady, Elway, Peyton Manning, Joe Montana, and let's say Pat Mahomes. But if you had Brett Favre there, I wouldn't be mad. All right, your 5G. All right, so I got one more. I have uh, That's fair. Uh, Lamar, Peyton, <laughs> and then uh, Tom Brady. That's only three. You're missing one more. Two more. That's more than three. I said Lamar, one, one more. Moon. One yeah. more, Lamar, uh -huh. Peyton. Oh, you said Peyton. Uh, okay. uh, Tom Brady. I'm missing uh -huh. one. I am missing one. Yeah, and missing. who was the last one? Hold on, let me look. Was it Mike Vick? Yeah, it was Mike Vick. No, no, Mike no, 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 was it no, Mike no, Vick? no, 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 no. It's uh Steve Young. It was Steve Young. Steve Young. Okay, yeah. Steve Young. Yeah, I, Steve I could Young. do that. Yeah, and so, so I just, I was just looking at the stats. I mean, like I know made really great points about the, the rules change. That's always going to happen as this game continues to evolve with CTE mm -hmm. and all those things. That will hinder the player, but. It's still not, you know, they don't make the rules, right? They don't, they can only agree to, to play the game. And so I don't take away, you know, oh, yeah, you get more points because you played in a more violent league. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't do that because we just examining the game of football. That's, that's just it. Like, um, I get that. Yeah. And yeah. I wouldn't expect that to get more that's points. I just, me personally, you don't have to, but I take into account that those, those rules changes they literally affect completion percentage they affect interception percentage like all those those things matter right so now when you start comparing those stats across errors it's like whoa that gets iffy so, that, so that's what i'm saying well yeah uh, i'm still not going to take it in consideration because the quarterback doesn't catch the ball they only throw it right so, but if you're getting if you're getting blasted in your back <laughs> or or around your knees at the same time you're trying to throw that's definitely going to affect what you can do right and if 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 your receiver is getting like you know <laughs> hand checked down the field, it makes it a lot harder for them to catch it. Would you agree? So that's going to increase. Not, it's not. It's not about that. It's not about that. We can't make excuses for receivers and quarterbacks. Not we play the game. They all been playing the game. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that this is an excuse. It's just something that I'm not willing to right, put cool. in considerations because they all, right. all. I mean, they all playing the same rules. Same way you hit me, I can hit you. You know, if you got the ball. I mean, it, it's happened. It's happened. So, I mean, from a quarterback <laughs> perspective, yeah, you can't, you know, tear their head off like they used to. But if you was considered a good quarterback, you didn't get your head tore. And if you did, I mean, yeah, it was some level of toughness. But I don't want to get off the point that I'm trying to make right here, right? I'm not – I am not. I can't go back in time and say, you know what I mean, like, oh, if Lamar was playing back in time, there would be a different game. I can't mm -hmm. say that. But, I mean, we know this kid is, is – is, 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 he brought a different dimension to the game. And that's something that like a lot of play, a lot of uh, uh, quarterbacks and a lot of these top fives haven't done. They won, yes, they won as a team, but they haven't bring brought a different dimension to the game. Whereas those almost impossible for mm -hmm. you to defend against them. I mean, mm -hmm. um, if I look at uh, Lamar Jackson's playlist, right, uh, his mixtape, so to speak, of all the highlights that he has already, and when I'm just looking at data pools from the first seven. Years, not the entire yeah, time no, no, that no, all no, these no, players no. played. And if you look at their first seven years, mm -hmm. a lot of times you're gonna see shit like, damn, this player was trash. Like, how mm -hmm. is he even here? That's the only thing that I'm saying. This is my argument to you guys. Like, if you look at the data pools, the first seven, not Mahomes. Mahomes is a different animal, man. I'm about to say he's Mahomes a different animal. Going on. He's a different yeah, animal. He's an exception. <laughs> I had to say that. But if we look at everybody else's stats, it don't it don't really line up because then there's that other dimension of him being a superior runner as well. As a pass, like some in some cases where they haven't thrown, he hasn't thrown as many interceptions as a lot of these, you know, primary passes, which he has fumbled maybe more or mm -hmm. been sacked. I'm sorry, he's been sacked more, but he hasn't he hasn't thrown the interception that a lot of these guys in the top five um has has thrown. That's fair. He also That's fair. doesn't have the touchdowns either, though. Oh, if you look at the touchdowns, yeah, the they, total they touchdowns, not the passing yeah, touchdowns. Throwing, if you throwing, look, throwing, no, no, no. If you throwing. look at if you look at his MVP seasons, he he put up 36 touchdowns and what? he ran for okay. Well, if you look at a lot of these players, man, I'm telling you, what you're gonna see is they didn't do half the things he did at the and first again, seven, seven seasons. But we looking at the entire 
No, 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 no. I, I got you in terms of the first seven seasons. No argument there. I'm just saying, yeah. like, I, I don't know how you can't take into account that the, the game was played so differently then. But that's cool. Transformer, go ahead, man. Let me, let me get, get your thoughts. Oh, on I mean, that. I, I was letting him finish because I'm trying to. Oh, my bad. Oh, I didn't realize you were so, so, yeah. yeah. So, so another thing is if, like, if we taking that in consideration, do we do that for Mahomes as well? I mean, but he's in mm-hmm. he's in the top five and he's won, right? Do, do you knock him out of your top five because he's not he's playing flag football like everybody else is playing right now? Or or, oh, that's or Bruce, do you, me, right? Whoever has um Mahomes in the, in the top five. So I do have Mahomes, but part of that is three championships and two MVPs, right? So like that's three league. championships in what your first six years is freaking absurd. Regardless, though, we know in football it is hard to win a title, right? Lamar can attest to that, and I'm sure he will get one in short order, but it's, it's hard to do it, right? So and it's I also hard to not, not ever make an AFC championship game. That's the lowest this man's ever been in his career. It's an AFC championship. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Who are we talking right. about? Uh, Mahomes. He's never not played in an AFC, an AFC championship, championship game yeah. as a starter. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, getting that's paid, wild. He's getting paid the amount that a whole team brings in in Oof. salary. So – you know, it's 32 teams, and we paying 30, 33 teams. Mm-hmm. His salary is pretty much what a lot of teams make in concession. Well, the overall salary. But you talking about the, the contract? Because he'll get yeah, his contract. Not, like, yeah, was oh, a, okay. Was not on a yearly year, basis, five, he don't get paid that much. It was 10 year 500 mil, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 10 years 450, something like that. Yeah. But they, they keep they keep uh adjusting. It's it, not, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fluff in that. No, no, I, I get what you're saying, G. And no we didn't even go into we didn't even go into like the weapons that some of these players had, right? We haven't even went in it. We haven't even talked about some of the weapons that a lot of these these Hall of Fame and or you know top five quarterbacks then had. Like mm-hmm. we haven't, we haven't talked about it. Some of them have like some of the best hands that we know in this sport, like to throw to. And so I mean it's that's evident. Like you're doing more with less. But that's like I said, that was my uh that was just my little data pool on Lamar and Lamar Jackson. Y'all think I'm crazy because I put him in my top five. Definitely. I just, to have, I, I just wanted <laughs> no, to have I just wanted to have a stats packet. No, nah, well, I mean, if you go back and look at the stats of your guys, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. No, no, I, I've definitely done that, but I like I said, I take into account just difference in the game. But well, Marino, he didn't have Hall of Fame wide receivers. John Elway didn't have Hall of Fame wide receivers. Warren Moon, one of the guys in your top five, didn't have Hall of Fame wide receivers. Um, Brett Favre, if you have him in there, he didn't have Hall of Fame wide receivers. So really, that might Aaron be kind doesn't of have one overreach. yet. Right. Brett Favre yeah, has, he doesn't have one yet. Short. Devontae gets, he, gets well, he's not. He's not in the. He's not in the Hall of Fame though. You know what I'm saying? We can argue maybe he should be, but he's not in there. So there's that. Now Peyton Manning, we know he had Hall of Fame receivers. Joe Montana, we know he had Hall of Fame receivers. And Mahomes, he had Tyreek Hill for a little bit. But, I mean, so we could – I think we could argue that either way in terms of their great receivers. Um, some of these guys didn't have that. Uh, oh, yeah, it's Sid Bubba, great point. Yes, Elway had Shannon in that tight end. That's, that's big. I don't know how I forgot that. I was I was more thinking about his um, early years um, with the first three Super Bowl appearances when he was, like, at his absolute peak. And he didn't have he didn't have um, Hall of Fame weapons on on uh, on offense at that time. He got them later on in his career. But you're right, Sid Bubba. You're right. Um, no, Lamar is. Oh, I don't think he's going to finish as a top ten all time quarterback. Top five. I think when it's all said and done, he will probably be a top ten all time quarterback. But got to figure out the winning part. That's got to happen at some point. Like. History is not going to be kind if he can't figure out a chip. The only reason that people look at Dan Marino like that is because Dan Marino's numbers were out of this world in a time when guys weren't throwing the ball like that. Um, <laughs> yo, Brandon really talking greasy in the chat. Oh, going that's hamburger. Right. Yeah, yeah. Burgers and go. cheese. Yeah, I think that's definitely for me. Uh, that That's my dude since high school. So I, I think that's definitely um, – <laughs> that's definitely for me, but it's all good because he's gonna have to deal with it when the Ravens go ahead and finish that job. Um, whoa, 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 Steve! Black old Lamar, yeah, Steve, I we've, said been, it. we've been we've been doing really well, Steve. And Flacco is outstanding, and Flacco's a champion, and Flacco has had one of the greatest playoff runs to a championship ever, no question. 
but no, he is not better than Lamar. We're not, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Yeah, but, he was a super um, team too. Say again. He was a super team. That year, on? a super oh, team. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, uh, yeah. With that defense, that defense, that defense was serious? crazy. Wait, 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 let me back you up. So Ooh. here's the thing. No, hold on. Let me back you up. No, 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 no. Don't do that. You know why I'm going to tell you don't do that? If you told me earlier in Flacco's career, yes, that championship season, statistically, that Ravens defense was middle of the pack. Go look it up. Go look no, it I'm up. I'm looking it up right now. That's yeah, crazy. When it, when it mattered the most, that defense was the shit that you needed to win that championship. Um, about, I don't uh, think Ray, that defense Ray locked hurt. anybody up through that whole playoff run. Huh? I don't think they did. Because remember the Mile High Miracle, they had to get that. Right to win in the wild card game. Don't know who they played in the divisional. He's like, that. um, in the Super Bowl, they gave up 30 plus. That was the weird lights out thing. Um, yeah, go ahead, look it up, G. I can't remember all of it off the top of my head, but yeah, people tell me all the time, oh, Flacco only won because of that defense. I'm like, nope, stop, stop, you're lying. Flat, flat, no, Flacco was putting it on their ass. Paul. Yeah, that season, that season, he was crazy. Um, yeah. in that playoff run, but that's one thing, you, I like I said Flacco. earlier. Yeah, like I said earlier in, in his playoff career, yeah, the defense was super elite, but not that year. Tyler, ain't that your job? <laughs> Tyler, you, Tyler, the researcher. He's so great at this, man. Research and make sure we get our numbers and everything straight. Mm -hmm. uh, total defense, <laughs> uh, six. They only allowed 300 yards. They were that high? Yeah, six. <laughs> What, yeah, what season that? Yeah. That's what 2012. 12, yeah. yeah. I like when Bruce, Bruce, being hey, Bruce. I stand corrected. Bruce said, hey, Bruce said, they were that high. Yeah, I, I stand corrected. <laughs> I'm like, bro, like Ravens yep. defense Passing was defense, legit, they bro. Was six, and then what's this? What, what about um, points allowed and all that? Hold on one second. Uh, ever. Yeah, 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 they only let it let 26 touchdowns that year and three in the playoffs, three in the entire playoffs. Touchdowns, yeah. that's what I say. You got to play three football games to get a Super Bowl average. That doesn't sound oh, right. Oh, average three touchdowns a game. Yeah. Average, oh, yeah. okay. I'm about to oh, say, yeah, because I'm like, remember, oh remember in Denver, they needed the mile high miracle to win. Um, and then all right, what are you what are you looking at? Because I'm looking at uh, foxreference.com. Yeah, that's weird. Pro football reference.com has because I went right to number six and it's got the Steelers for the 2012 NFL season. Um, yeah, the, the pro football reference has. The 2012 NFL seasons, the Ravens number 12 in total defense. That's why I was saying they were middle of the pack. I knew I had read that somewhere. There's we're number one in defense. Yeah, yeah, I figured this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but regardless, um, that's why I'm saying that that defense wasn't. I don't recollect it being super elite that season. You see what anyway. it is, Steve? <laughs> Steve <laughs> but, that had nothing to do with what we're talking about. Right, right, right. Regardless of all that. Dive yeah, in about the Ravens defense. And I know, right? But no, the, the whole point is, um, as, as great as Lamar is, even if you, for me, even if you compare those that first seven year data set, I don't, I don't see being able to put him in that top five all time when you also take into account the context of you know how the game was played and what was what was allowed to happen to receivers and and um and quarterbacks back then because that that affects the statistical production, but regardless. Um, he's great, and he's probably going to finish top ten. So it's yeah, an interesting it's debate to have, though. Yeah. All right, I'll be completely objective here. Yeah, I appreciate that. Right? Yeah, do so. Pretty, pretty. You got no dog in the fight. No dog in the fight. <laughs> right. Lamar ain't nowhere near no damn top five. And I say that just to say, G. I, from my understanding, I'm not putting words in your mouth. I'm not going to tell you what you're saying, but this is what I think you're saying. You're saying he said has such a change of impact on the football game itself is why you're giving him that elevation. Mm, but me, I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at the quarterback, his position, his title, and what he's paid to do. 
I'm looking at that as is it is what it is. I'm not looking at the impact and the level of you know what he's doing with his legs. We've never seen this done before. Okay. That's a different level of thinking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking at it like that. All right. All right. So so I'm gonna give you some context of what I mean. Right. So yeah. when, when I say the most impact, right? He was uh, I mean, he, he put down the most rushing yards with 1,200 in the season. No quarterback has ever done that. He had mm-hmm. two rushing seasons for over a thousand yards. No quarterback ever did that. Uh, unanimous MVP. Uh, that that's debatable. But the youngest quarterback. One, so got to give respect due for that. Mm-hmm. Youngest quarterback that started a playoff game. Uh, most rushing attempts by a quarterback. Right, he recorded 176 attempts. This was definitely Greg Roman right here. Yeah. Uh, most rushing yards in a game by a quarterback. 152 yards against the Cincinnati Bengals. That's in a conference play right there. And uh, most 100-yard rushing games by a quarterback. So um, I think he got like 12 last year. Uh, first quarterback, 3,000 passing yards and 1,000 rushing yards in a se- single season. Um, that's 2019, of course. Fastest mm-hmm. to 5,000 passing and 2,000 rushing yards. Um, the most games with a perfect passer rating in a se- single season. And so, like, a lot of these stats are off the beaten path in what we call quarterbacks. But you can't cannot, like, say, oh, well, he don't deserve it because the, the team that he played for, shit, the guy's balling. Like, he's balling. But that's mm-hmm. that's my two cents. I, I don't really have nothing else. But that's why I think he, he should be – he's in my top five. Like, you don't have to put him I in think there. No, I think it's a fair argument. Yeah, I think the guy's a uh, human argument. highlight film. Mm-hmm. No, no, no doubt, no doubt. I think, yeah. I think you, I think you get wrapped up a little bit in the highlights. But I think, based on what you just gave us, those are very legitimate arguments. But I will push back only to say that his detractors would point out how many of those stats come from. What's up? I'm about to push back in a second. Okay, yeah, his detractors, not me, but I know how these people me. think. But a lot of his detractors would say, "Look how much of those those records and those big numbers come from rushing." Which is not the primary duty of a quarterback. Of a quarterback, a yeah, that's my that's my point. Yeah, go ahead. If you ask, if you ask me, if you was to ask me, top five player, mm-hmm. right? When you start saying stuff like that, I will consider Lamar in my top five of a player over a top five of a quarterback. Because a quarterback, mm-hmm. I, your job is to do one thing, really. All right, your primary focus is passing. That's why the MVPs always get the freaking. Uh, uh, quarterbacks always get the MVP award. We're looking at the quarterback. They're the decision maker. They're the ones who's getting the ball downfield. We need you to get the ball in the end zone, right? Mm-hmm. Lamar is a hybrid of both quarterback and rusher. And honestly, in, in my opinion, he only does one of those things great, and that's rushing the football. He's not a great thrower. He doesn't throw often. Oh damn, I lost G. Yeah, we uh, lost. Him. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't throw the ball well. He's mm-hmm. only had. Two three thousand yard seasons, period. Mm-hmm. Two, right? Right. You know, granted, it's a seven year that's, sample size. Yeah, He's that's only, still. Yeah, that's pretty low. That's that's mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. that's pretty low. Now, mind you, he had maybe six hundred yards in one season. It was a uh, eight hundred yards rushing in mm-hmm. another season. Right. All right, right. On top of that, you've only Steve. had four three years where you've had over twenty touchdowns passing. You're not a quarterback to me. <laughs> you're not. You're not being a quarterback. You're being more of a rusher. You're on the ground. And you're extending out drives, and you're, you're becoming more of that hybrid. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like you're not necessarily what I call a quarterback. But then mm-hmm. the most important part I like to talk about is the playoffs. Once the playoffs start, all that highlight real stuff go away. Mm-hmm. You, they they easily strategize against you to shut all that down. Mm-hmm. And once they do, you can't prove you're a thrower. They're threatening you, like beat us with your arm. Well, beat us I with think, your arm, right? I think he can do that, and I think he's shown in some cases he's capable. It's just like you said, it has to happen in the playoffs when it's most important. I was actually looking at footage of him today, and I was a bit, cons- I'll say slightly concerned because even though he's got the arm talent, I don't know how much of it is scheme, but he's had a few offensive coordinators now. But it yeah. seems like most of his quality throws are down the seam. He doesn't really make those um Back those over out shows. routes like yeah. outside the numbers to the hashes, and I'm like. Now, that's interesting. That's something I'm sure I would assume defensive coordinators in the league have keyed on that. But uh, he, he actually somehow, the playoffs. Yeah. But but at the end of his his incredible mobility, like nothing we've ever seen before at the position, opens up so much for him. And that helps him to have these uh, elite passing games, et cetera. So um, I, I get it. I think G is um, 
I think he is enamored with the highlight real plays that Lamar can give us on a regular basis. But um, for me, as uh, as special as he is, I'm like, eh, I don't really, oh yeah, I don't really see it that way, you know. But I get it. There you go, my boy. I lost it right in the middle of the conversation. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, so that, that's that's what I think. Yeah, I can, can you hear, hear me? me? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, so yeah, but um, I think. Yeah, I like it that, though. I mean, my, my boy can't yeah, prepare for this one. Yeah, it's a fair argument though. I think it's a very <laughs> legitimate argument. I wouldn't do it, but it's a legit argument. All right. Um, anything else before we go ahead and wrap? Yeah, G, you got anything else? Uh, we uh, no, I'm scared I'm to ask what your top five receivers and running backs are. <laughs> Might throw somebody in there that threw the <laughs> ball more than no time. Let me tell back. you, it won't be a it won't be a Baltimore Raven. <laughs> not at the receiver. <laughs> well, Anquan, Anquan Bolden, really. Anquan Bolden was pretty that, good. That run he had, that, was good. That run he had in 2012 was crazy. So, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. But, you're right, but you're right though. <laughs> in the top five, yeah, you're right. Jamal Lewis you're in 2020, right. uh, 2020, 2000. Damn, I can't believe that was that long ago. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. um, yeah, um, we got a call from Tyler, so let's take this and then we'll wrap it up. Tyler was good, man. What's up, gentlemen? Just want to hit you guys real quick. No doubt. AC, thank you for bringing up a, a, a topic for us, man. Thank you. I got my Ravens gear on, too. Um, <laughs> you know, in order to uh, in order to be top five all time, you probably need a little bit more um, legitimate uh, years in the league. You know what I mean? But as right. far as top five in, in the sample size that Lamar has, by the age of 27 – Nobody has had he, – he might – by the age of 27, he might be number two um, all time behind behind maybe Mahomes. Mahomes is going wild. But as far as, you know, the top top five all-time uh, uh, criteria, you know, winning percentage, Lamar is fourth all-time in, in winning percentage. So you have to be a winner. Regular season, uh, right? Yeah, regular season, yes. Okay. Yeah, what happens in the playoffs happens in the playoffs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Peyton Manning. Uh, but that's didn't huge, though, first, that. That's the a playoff game. Game. Didn't his first playoff game until he was 27. Right, uh, right. John Elway didn't win his first playoff game until 10 years in the league. Um, <laughs> you know, and these are and these are top five all-time guys that I've heard brought up. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, 10 years in the league? That's not right. John Elway? Like yeah, when, when did he come seven. into the league? He, Came into the league in '83, right? Quarterback class of '83 was John Elway, right? Yeah, he didn't he didn't win a ring until the until the '90s. Oh, win yeah. a ring, yeah, but he was in the Super Bowl in '87, '87 and '88, and then he he was in the ring. He was in the in the Super Bowl. I want to say three times in the '80s. So it can't be yeah. right that he didn't win a Super Bowl, Super Bowl win. Manning. Okay, okay, 20, I got you. I got you. Manning twenty-eight. Uh, yeah, I got you. So we're talking, you know, as far as sample size goes from what Lamar's got, you know, and even even sample size, sample size aside, you know, there's a lot of people who consider Barry Sanders top two, top three running back. Some people have him as the number one all time with a smaller, relatively smaller sample size, you know, just from what you see on the eye test. You know, yeah. Lamar has one of the top three best seasons of a football player. Forget forget quarterback of a football player of all time. Um, 1,200 yards rushing, 43 touchdowns. Uh, the only reason, you know, they lost in the playoffs was they had a NFL record seven drops in a playoff game. Uh, never before has a quarterback had to deal with seven drops. So, and, and, and really, I think a lot of Ravens fans counted a little bit more than seven, but, you know, they got to they gotta hit you right in the hands and, and it has to be a clean play for it to really count as a drop. But he took that 2019 game with Miles Boykin, Willie Sneed, Chris Moore, and uh, and Nick Boyle, and put up that. Uh, so when we talk about Hakeem and we talk about LeBron and we talk about all these guys, what was their help like? What was their help like? Look at look at Lamar. He had no help, no help. Now he's finally starting to get some help, and look at what this year is looking like. This year looks like he could have the best season of all time all over again. So he could—he's on pace for four thousand yards passing. He's on pace for thirty-three touchdowns. 
passing, another dozen touchdowns rushing, three interceptions, 1,200 yards rushing. You know, when it comes to top five all time, you know, it's ambitious, but, you know, I don't think it's it's totally crazy to count them out of the top ten, top five. I have a hard time putting guys like Elway or, or Breeze you know, these guys in front of Lamar, if you watch Lamar week to week, you're seeing something you never see every week. Yeah, but I, I think, and and I watch Lamar a lot as well, I think you guys are very enamored with the splash plays, which are incredible, no doubt. I don't know. Uh, I think my attitude is going to change a lot when he, when he lifts the trophy. Because I think as much as it's not the only thing, I think winning is just so big, so big. Think about how differently we would look at Jim Kelly or Dan Marino if those guys had won a championship. We would Jim look at those guys totally different. Oh. Yeah, right. Both of them. I think I think Marino would get a little bit more respect, but Marino is very respected. He shows up in a lot of people's top five. He shows up in a lot of people's top ten. He's in my top ten. He's not in my top five. And but and but, he didn't really play with anybody either. Like that's what said. I was about but, to say. He didn't. But what want. the media has been doing with Lamar is as he as he makes accomplishments, they move the goalposts. So once he gets one ring, it's going to be, well, Mahomes has three. Well, Brady has seven. Well, then I, he's mean, gonna get the I mean, he'll still be behind those guys oh, without a shot of a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Mahomes, still be Mahomes, Mahomes and Lamar are this generation's Brady Manning. That's fine. And, but he's, and I think that's uh, the story of football. Can't go on without them. So I No, think that's fine. Lamar, no. That's I, fine. I think we have to have Mahomes and – you know, when, when you write the story of football, 15, 20 years from now, however long football lasts, mm-hmm. you know, there's an expiration date on this beautiful game. You know, eventually they're going to take take away – I mean, they take away the kickoff. Eventually they're going to take away the tackling. They're going to take away helmets. There's an expiration date. It's coming. Mm-hmm. 15, 20 years. When the game – when the story is written, what's it going to look like? It's, it's going to be Brady, Manning, Lamar, Mahomes. And then, you know, pick your pick your poison of, of any of these other guys. You know what I mean? But it's it's largely the the AFC quarterback legends that are gonna make up the story of this game. Well, I I won't argue it. I'll just say we'll see. Because for me, again, like as amazing as many of the things Lamar has done, when that winning comes in, now we got a totally different discussion. So I'm just waiting for that and then we'll see. But um Appreciate the call, Tyler. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go here so we can go ahead and wrap this show up. Good night. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks, you too. Bro. Thanks for calling, bro. Finally, even the <laughs> I could That's my guy right there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah. That's my guy, man. But y'all my, y'all, man, for ooh. We're gonna talk what, about this another time. What I yeah. did yeah, four hours, awesome. bro. We had four he's hours. Not, we almost had four he's, hours. He's yeah. also an objective Raven fan, so let's mm. call a spade a spade. He's a Ravens fan. You know what? LeBron before James. We, before we roll out, let's show Lamar yeah. some love. Oh, we got a highlight video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, the dude. Listen, nobody's saying that Lamar. He's not, not great. Right. Yeah. Right. Nobody's saying that. We're just saying we want to see it when it counts most. That's in the playoffs. And with with the amazing things he's done and continues to do, we just want him to lift the trophy up. Yeah. Well, maybe not not Transformer, because that means we would have to play the Packers or something, but I want him I to I mean, if you're not trophy. playing us, then all fair is fair. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. <laughs> you know, that, I want to see the kids succeed, I man. I mean, I, I do like Lamar Jackson. Uh, I was on the edge of getting one of his jerseys before, um, mm-hmm. and then he pissed me off. I think he ended up playing Green Bay. At one point, I was like, you know what? Nah. Not doing that, bro. I don't like what you did against the team. But no, <laughs> right. man, this this kid is great. You know what I mean? No, uh, he is, he's great. He There's no shot over doubt. Like I said, this debate was more about, you know, him being in our top five. And mm-hmm. uh, I criticize him mainly and only because of his playoff playoff appearances. That's like, it. I, I do want That's him it. to show up in a playoff game. I want him That's to put it. on that show like he put on against the Bengals. I yes. want him to do it in a playoff game. Yes. Because now it's showing like, okay, now, when the stars are the br- I mean, the lights are the brightest. Mm-hmm. He's still putting up these numbers. Yeah. He's still running yeah. the football effectively. He's not mm-hmm. turning the football over. He's making those big throws. That's, That's where right. I want to see Lamar be successful, right there. Mm-hmm. And I no, thought last year, I thought last year was going to be his major opportunity. And I blame Todd and your 
your offensive yeah, coach. Yeah, that one, but yeah. It was like, that was his moment. That was going to be the moment. He was like, man, I, I'm with, I'm with Burrow. I beat my homes mm-hmm. and I'm going to the Super Bowl and I did it in a good fashion. But when he started turning the ball over, it's like, yeah, well, here we go. Another year. Lamar just couldn't get it done. Right. That's it. That's it. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. Alan Williams, let's, man. let's let's leave it here. And um, yeah, let's leave it here. And we're gonna call it a night. Gee, you definitely called this one, man. We're about five minutes short of that. Man, this <laughs> is not supposed to go that way. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I think he, he, he thinks the whole thing, bro. He sure he did. He sure did. But he listen, thinks. everybody who came in and uh who hung with us uh for the duration of the show, really appreciate you. Make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe on the way out. If you haven't already, Absolutely. you know what time it is. And make sure you hit that share button, man. Share button is powerful. We need that. Um, make sure you continue to let people know about the show so they can uh, get in the chat, so they can come in and enjoy our banter and enjoy our sports talk and our commentary and all that. All right. So y'all have a good night. And, um, you know, God willing, we'll see you back on Saturday. Yes, sir. Unless something crazy happened, like Devontae Adams get traded to the freaking Chiefs. Hey, man, how y'all doing down there, man? How y'all doing down there? Straight, man. Straight. You see my power on, ain't you? Yeah, see, right, right. It's a, it's a oh, yeah. smash though. Yeah, it's already it's, happened. Yeah, it's already yeah. passed by. But it's actually even um it's actually even calmed down some uh oh, okay. since I mean they're still gonna get high uh what is it, surf surge or whatever. But yeah. um yeah, uh, we, we we should be straight up here though. Rain surge, the uh yeah the rain, the rainfall mm-hmm. is what's gonna kill them. Yeah, I think yeah, they're projected at like eight inches, eight to twelve inches or something like that. Yep, yep, yep. So a lot of flooding is expected down there. Mm -hmm. all right team but um yeah y'all have a good night thanks for tuning in appreciate it thank you for uh those who super chatted i think uh sid bubba and nino appreciate the love as always man y'all have a great night and we will see you next time and we out peace Peace. click the button transformer (laughs) (laughs) oh man